Now, do you want to know my history with her? Uh, Selena Powell. She came here with Selena Powell and a bunch of other girls at one point to do a Patreon episode. And my main memory of it is that at some point, you guys all were pretty much naked, just fully ass open, shaking your fucking buttholes and vaginas into the camera. And so that's how I met you. Yeah. So. I know a couple of them, we put a bottle in two of their vaginas. Someone did have a bottle. I put the bottle in Selena's because the other girl couldn't get it in her. For Patreon. Yeah, I was for Patreon. Originally, I wasn't even going to be on it, and I was wearing that that newspaper get up, and he kept saying, what's up with you? Yeah, because we thought you were kind of hot, so we were like, hey, why don't you get over here? So she she came and got on camera. I was not part of the thought squad. And Selena was mad that I asked you to be on camera. Why was she mad at you? Okay. Reveal this to me. Okay, so what had happened was one, yes, unfortunately, I am. She knows that. I still love you though. But um But what what are you, have you guys talked in recent memory? Or are yeah, you, we're cool. We're oh, fine. Okay. But I saw her post her promoter boyfriend again, so I just kinda blocked her. Because okay, just I'm gonna throw this in there too, is that the other day Selena Powell was supposed to be on Plug Talk and get fucked by two guys. So we had two male porn stars ready to go two large african-american men and then she ghosted us the day before and didn't come really well. so I'm if she was posting her boyfriend or whatever that might kind of explain it like she's great obviously she's fun when she's single we all know it everybody half mm. the world knows that but yeah what happened is um i didn't want to go to some event with them the night prior and I took the rental because I wanted to get back to the hotel and I wasn't going to Uber. They were already going in the car. Why take the rental? And she's like, because I needed the extra car. So we got in an mm-hmm. argument. And she was like, you basically scammed me and pimped me out of a car. And it was it was a petty drunk girl argument. And then we got over it. And she was like, I just don't feel like you should be on it. You haven't been on Demon Time the whole time you're out here. Because I only fucked the one guy when I came out here. So I'm like. So she was shaming you for not fucking <laughs> enough guys while you were in L.A. <laughs> In a sense, yes, because, you know, the whole point of her coming on here, it was a thought squad, and I was never part of a thought squad. I was just, I'm cool with them. So. The fine thought squad. Bitches that get fucked by a bunch of guys and brag about it and think it's cute. So you weren't. And then cry at home, sad and alone. You weren't on that level of thoughtiness at this time? No. Okay. No. I'm my own level of thought. Like, I'll slut myself out with my partner on OnlyFans, but I'm not going to have multiple, multiple men. I just... It devalues. Let's I mean, be real. There's a big difference between a chick who's like making money, getting fucked on OnlyFans, and a chick who does the whole Selena thing, which is kind of like, I don't know, like hang out at clubs, try to get into positions where you could be around famous dudes to get fucked by them so that you can like expose it later or try to get money out of them to like not talk about it or this whole thing. I mean, there is levels to the. There's definitely levels. The thought there. game. Yeah. And that just wasn't the level I was on. So she was like, I don't want you to be on. And I was like, all right, that's cool. So I purposely dressed up because I knew I was going to outshine, like, looking hot-wise. I was like, you know what? Fuck the shit. I'm still going to look like a bad bitch anyway. So you're sitting on the couch just giving me dirty eyes from the corner. So I was like, kind of <laughs> no, keep, like, noticing, like, like, oh, she wants to be over here. I was here. annoyed. Like, I was just like. <laughs> I was like, why is the, hot- the hottest chick not sitting here? Yeah. Who was there? So Selena, because I can definitely see I her. Remember. Okay, so I remember Selena- one girl that was not hot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, there was actually like, Josh. no, there was three <laughs> girls that wasn't hot, if I remember correctly. Well, one was okay, so it was two I girls. only remember one of them. I remember okay. being like Selena very not attracted to her. I'm gonna be real. Yeah. Selena was hot, and I guess you could say there was another dark haired girl that was kind of hot, and then we could say Bella was hot, um, in a sense. And but honestly, I don't really I don't care for Bella, she a hoe. Um, and then Slim, Slim Danger, Chief Keith's ah, baby mom, she yes. was there. So okay, it was two random girls. Uh, <laughs> she was busting it open naked too. Yeah, she was. God damn. Yep. What a wild she time. Slim a savage, though. Man. We have so some crazy sad. times at that her. old office, let me tell you, Josh. Yeah, I love her. Damn. She's, she's pretty wild. But okay, so then at what point did you and Selena have like a big dramatic breakup? Did that happen it was after randomly that? randomly at night. Oh, you mean before we got to the podcast? No, afterwards, because after, after, after some drama times. happened, right? Some shit about me robbing her promoter boyfriend for like $23,000 or some shit. Yeah. Robin or stealing because those are two different things right because Robin well, is like apparently he had money in the house and I took the money while okay. he was locked up because he got locked up for beating her and so money went missing because fuck him but I never said I took it never said I didn't like it is what it is money went missing if you said it was me then it was me I don't know so if somebody gets locked up for beating their girl then you can just take their money sure yeah I mean technically <laughs> if you own a home y- y'all own a home and you leave money behind your bitch can do whatever with the money. They can't. That becomes a civil matter. So if she hands me money, okay, whose money was it? Like I don't know. 
Well, not I think she did give you me are right in the sense that I don't know how you would be like found guilty of this because <laughs> what it, what evidence would there be of you doing anything? I guess yeah, yeah. but yeah. also I mean yeah, House I, g- I guess like technically stealing is fucked up even though. For wow. me, I don't really hold it against you. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe. Get us to 500K. Yeah.